guys, James Wilson Taylor here for Roxanne. We are backstage at 2000 Trees Festival 2024. Crawlers on the lineup. Holly joins me now. How you doing, mate? That was so slick. What mate, the heck? Mate, I've been here all week. This ain't my first rodeo. This ain't my first festival. I feel Come like on. here's my first rodeo now. That was like, hi, my name is Holly from Crawlers, and I'm here at Roxanne. Sounds like you're like commentating on yourself. That's why I go. That's the vibe I give I off. Like now. I, I like that. I like that. It. It's a good work. <laughs> um, let's talk about, I guess, the eventful journey to here today. Oh my god, did you, you hear about it? You mentioned it on stage. Lord. Tell the people because this is why. To me. So I nearly died this morning. <laughs> no clickbait, rock sound. Um, <laughs> yeah, basically, um, we were going on the M6 towards this festival. Our wheel flew off while there was a big truck behind us. Um, so we were very, 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 very lucky that we were on one portion of the M6 with a hard shoulder. Oh if we weren't, the truck would have just slammed into us. So um, we pulled over, we lived, we've had to run over two fields, hitchhike to get a higher car and a higher van. But we made it, we did four songs. It was all hits, no skips. Nice. But uh, I'd never let down the creepy crawlies ever, so. I tell you what, it is the most ballsy rock and roll move to be in an event like that, make it and play the hits on the stage. I love that. I honestly, I, <laughs> I being cool rock and roll for me is quite cool because I go to bed at nine and drink green tea, so. <laughs> <laughs> There's something rock and roll about that. In a way, yes, in a geez. way there <laughs> is. It's all there. Love, um, love. But I love you guys, mate. I love you, Odd Pull Up, that Thank show. You. And congrats on all the success and everything. I mean, I guess last time we kind of properly caught up, the album was kind of imminent to the time. Yeah. My God, what success. Like, oh my so, God. like congrats on that. Like, chart positions are what they are, but it's nice to have. I yeah, mean, my God, what the really heck? nice. I've got to say, that is all thankful to our incredible fans. Like, um, I know some fans who paid my rent for like a week by getting literally like 12 copies just so they wanted to see us succeed. And to be able to do that as a very small band um, is absolutely incredible. And I can't thank you guys enough. And anyone who's obviously like tuned in and gave the mess we've seemed to make, one of those listeners to be like, oh, I guess I'll see what all the fuss is about. Thanks for your stream, bitches. Uh, <laughs> still count. A number's still a number. You know we'll I mean. take that. We'll take that number. No, it's so cool to see how success. I guess now that we are like, you know, it's a little bit in the rear view, you've had a bit of time to reflect. Yeah. How are you kind of reflecting on that whole release, that whole moment? Because it was a long time coming. Yeah. And obviously, like, it's really, really nice that now it's all out there. The audience is super familiar with it. It's going off live. Like, how are you reflecting on that whole record? Um, well? it's 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 really good. So I feel like there's two sides of a coin where you kind of reel in what has been amazing about the album and that's been able to jump on tours that we've we've never been able to tour with other bands before as support right. so we've done that for the first time this year and we've been able to use the album as a mantle which has been great um collecting new fans but i also think it's 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 learned a lot because we were a very young band who got picked up and thrown in a circuit very 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 quickly yeah. and i feel like when we had that moment of of whoa it's out it was rethinking about everything that we want, we need, because we're here for life, baby. So it's kind of like being able to reflect on that and going, I know what the next steps are and yeah, how to do that. So it's been, it's been really great. And the mess you see today has been messy, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's very clever. It's very <laughs> good. Uh, I'm glad you mentioned the touring opportunities though, because I saw you guys, obviously you're out there with Royal Blood recently and like such lovely, Boy, lovely dudes. And, aren't like, they literally I mean, the, the best. best? Yeah, like, really nice. I, every time I'll be like, Okay, no tequila tonight, no tequila. You'd see Ben going, ah, la, 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 la. I'm like, no, I can't do this, my liver. Um, just honestly, the greatest team we've worked with, they were fantastic and um, really professional. I, being able to watch them every night. Uh, and I had a meltdown during one of those shows because we had like, you know when you have like no sleep and you just go a bit thing and being able to watch them do what they do. Uh, I felt like they were all, all like our dads for a sec. We kind of got to watch them do it. Yeah, and it was so cute. We celebrated Mike's birthday too and gave oh, him nice. gave him some coffee, so. Which, which is nice. That's really. Lovely. I mean, I mean, what's great is that you're at this point now where, like, it's because it, you know you're not incredibly similar sounding to something like Roblox, but it fits, and you can fit yeah. on a lot of different tours now. I feel because 100%. like the record does kind of manage to to kind of spread its wings a little bit and kind of hit on these different areas. We have a Venn diagram that's like uh, gay pop bitches. So that's like you know um, Paramore's poppy stuff, the Chapel Rones, the Olivia Rodrigo, the Billy Eilish. And then you've got the Venn diagram, Muse and Royal Blood and Queens, and we're like in the middle. Yeah. Which is like really nice because I love being like little kids' first rock band. Yeah, that's a nice you know? place to be at. Yeah, Everyone, sure. at, for me, that's dead important because I remember my first rock band that got me into it, which was um, 
Fall Out Boy. Nice. <laughs> um, because obviously you dare laugh at that. That I'm was a beautiful laughing. one. We I love, love Fall Out so Boy. Much. Come on. I love them so much. Bring us on tour. Oh, <laughs> but I'll tell you what, it would fit. I could My see girls, it. Um, yeah, they were the first kind of band that got me into heavier music. I remember as soon as I listened to them, uh, it was a very, it was a very quick timeline from that to um, Bring Me the Horizons, really heavy stuff. But it, it, it was the one that kind of got me into rock music. So, yeah, absolutely. You know, I hope to do that for some kids who've and make them want to pick up a guitar. And yeah, that's a really nice yeah. position to be in for sure, for sure. We should talk about what's coming up because uh, the, the little festival that happens at the end of August, just just on the main stage at Reading and Leeds, just the main stage, why not? You thought, you know what, let's have a big stage this time. Let's go with that. Yeah. Um, bucket list territory, isn't it? Come that's on, that's silly. exciting. And uh, what's said funny is, uh, so we've got, it's a stacked lineup, but my favorite part of the lineup is the artists that we've got all playing at our time. Yeah, it's cool. So you've got us, Last Dinner Party in the Ks, which I think are like, that is just showing how good music is right now. Yeah. And I think that's so important. And I feel like, I mean, I'm very, I'm gonna be watching side stage for Rene Rat, and then I'm gonna be watching side stage for Ray, not Ray, um, uh, Liam Gallagher, Catfish, like what the heck? So that's yeah. like, it's a really silly one because for us, it's like, I feel like everyone has that festival that's a familial like moment for them and for us it's it's Leeds Fest. Yeah, yeah, like sure. you know, we're northern kids um who were crying for that weekend because we could never get it booked off because everyone was going to Leeds oh, Fest course, in Creamfields. Yeah, 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 yeah. So being able to go, Hey, I booked it off. Yeah, I'm yeah, playing yeah. the bitch um is incredible and it's it was one of our favourite times to do it when we did it for twenty two. We had um we had the most insane packed out tent, so it feels really full circle yeah, to yeah, yeah be coming out on the main stage with some of our idols really yeah i remember that 22 summer you went oh let's just support my chem and do reading and leeds that's a quiet summer isn't it that was a, a very, very quiet, quiet summer, summer for crawlers my yeah. chem full american tour and then leeds like yeah, no yeah, yeah. no filler like what the heck <laughs> just just a few ambitions ticked off there all good <laughs> all good just a few little things just a few little things <laughs> um so we've been asking absolutely everybody here this weekend because like we say just treats a great lineup it's a great lineup. Oh, i'm sure lots of so friends of yours sick. out there loads of bands you like so Anyone out there this weekend that you've never toured with, never worked with before, where you think, oh, that would be a great fit for us on tour, on a collab, something uh, like that? Nova Twins, oh, I love you, Pookie Bears. Yeah. They are the fucking coolest. And there's a reason everybody loves them. Like, yeah. they make their own clothes. Their tones are just hot as shit. Their performance is everything. And I think they're bringing something so fresh and we need more fucking we need more music like that we need yeah. more people taking festival slots with their hands and yeah. squeezing it like those two do they are absolutely every time i see them i'm in awe about how beautiful their presence but they're also so gentle so lover twins are absolutely sick and i think harry would want to do the chats he's obsessed with them he's, oh really they yeah are. i mean we dressed him up in little emo clothing but he's a, he's a pop punk boy at <laughs> heart really <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Nothing, Nothing wrong, with, wrong that, with that. Babe. Shout out to that. Love that. I'm going to let you go and relax and enjoy the rest of your weekend after the stressful Dude, start. But you pulled crazy. it off in the end, man. Like, Thank congrats you so on much that. For All good. Us. Oh, always great to see you. All right. Holly, everybody. Thank you, babe.